while I'm getting situated, I'll say uh, I want to thank Mr. Courtney for the prayers, and I'm early enough in my mayoralship to where I haven't figured out yet if 90% of the people that meet me are praying for me, whether that's a good thing or a bad thing. <laughs> so I, I appreciate the prayers. I hope they continue. Um, Angelita pointed out that uh, she was happy that I was here as the mayor, but I just want our city employees to know I made a commitment very early on to be very engaged with not just the citizens of Shreveport, but engaged with the employees of the city of Shreveport. Um, all the good ideas that I have, all the objectives that I have, every com campaign promise that I have uh, would be for not if it wasn't for the motivated uh, employees of the city of Shreveport. So thank you and I will continue to be a champion for you throughout my tenure as mayor. So uh, no need to thank me going forward, I will be present. Uh, I want to congratulate the graduates of the 2019 Spring Leadership Academy. Uh, public service is often a thankless job. Our victories go unnoticed and our losses are often on the nightly news. But despite this, you've taken it upon yourselves to improve, to get better at your job, you enlisted in the Leadership Academy because you wanted to serve the public more effectively. So I also want to thank the graduates of the Spring Leadership Academy for your continued commitment to the city of Shreveport. Can we all give them a round of applause? I want to thank Angelita Jackson and the Human Resources Department as well. The Leadership Academy not only fosters institutional knowledge, but it ensures that that knowledge isn't locked up in a few it creates a culture of learning and leadership, which is essential to the maintenance of large organizations like the city of Shreveport. Creating a culture of leadership takes vision and hard work. So at this time, I would also like to give a round of applause to the Human Resources Department and all the faculty for the <coughs> Leadership Academy. Tonight's graduates have undergone extensive training over the last six months. Acquiring skills that make them more effective leaders and communicators. Better team builders, builders and decision makers. These skills are frequently overlooked. Decision making, communication, and leadership are mistakenly thought to be gifts rather than tools that have to be continually sharpened. The Leadership Academy selects candidates who are willing to invest the time and energy needed to develop their craft. City employees who have a positive attitude and are interested in advancing their careers. A positive attitude is another one of those attributes that's often overlooked, but it can make the world a world of difference. A positive attitude is often the difference between success and failure, between quitting and completing the race. Prior to a year-long political campaign, Army Ranger School was the hardest thing that I had ever done in my life. Army Ranger School is one of the toughest leadership, uh, toughest leadership courses in the world. And when I arrived at Fort Benning, I expected to be tested physically. But there was nothing that could prepare me for the mental and psychological exhaustion ahead. The people who survived Fort Benning are the ones with a positive attitude. Those who have an unbreakable determination to succeed. Ranger training is basically eight weeks of being constantly harassed and relentlessly tested by professionally trained warriors. It is obstacle courses and long runs, endless calisthenics, and combat simulations. It is weeks of being starved and sleep deprived. Does this sound fun yet to everybody? <laughs> the Army crabs a lifetime of challenges into eight weeks. They do this so they can identify those who are mentally, emotionally, and physically strong enough to lead their fellow soldiers under incredible stress. Ranger School might be an extreme example, but the lessons I learned at Fort Benning apply in daily life. They have served me as mayor, and if you'll humor me, humor me for a minute, I think you'll see that they can benefit you as well. The main thing Ranger School tests you test is your drive. Only about 50% of Ranger students complete the first phase of training, called Rap Week. On top of the 3.30 a.m. wake-ups and the five-mile runs that feel like sprints, what makes it so difficult is that you can leave at any time. You can get a warm meal, a good night's sleep, and all you have to say is, I quit. 
They call it LOM, or lack of motivation. It's not the fastest students that graduate from Ranger School. It's not the ones that can do the most chin-ups. It's the motivated soldiers, the ones who possess the determination to succeed and earn the Army's rank of 10. The same is true for all of you. The ones who achieve are the ones who can adapt and overcome. If you want to succeed, never give up. Never, ever quit. Dig deeper to find that motivation, that reason to keep going. As long as you keep going, you keep moving, no matter how long the road or how steep the climb. As long as you keep going, you will advance. Motivation is half the battle. Another thing you learn in Ranger School is the importance of teamwork. The Rangers are an elite tactical unit and not individual warriors. They work together to complete difficult missions under the most challenging of circumstances. It is easy to su succeed when things are easy. But when things go off the rails, when the mission isn't going as planned, you call in a team. As the old African proverb says, if you want to go fast, go alone. Go alone. But if you want to go far, go together. You need cooperation and the goodwill from your coworkers to accomplish tough tasks. So always remember, if you want to go far, work together. Finally, I want to say something about leadership. It is impossible to get through Ranger School without experiencing failure. Your instructors simply won't allow it. They will find something about your uniform, something about the patrol route you selected. They will find something. No matter how much effort you put forth, I assure you they will find something. And there will be consequences, more PT, earlier wake-ups, something to make your life more difficult. The instructors need to see how you deal with adversity when Rangers deploy. It is not in adverse conditions. You have to be able to think critically, learn from mistakes, and make tough decisions in the heat of battle. Those soldiers who couldn't work through the frustrations of failure didn't make it through Ranger School. Even in civilian life, it's important to remember that no matter how hard, no matter how hard you work, no matter how well you prepare, sometimes you are going to fail. Leadership isn't about success and failure. It's about what you do with success and failure. Do you share your successes with your team and learn from your mistakes? Do you rest on your past accomplishments, or do you press forward? Does failure paralyze you or motivate you to try harder? Our answers to those questions determine whether or not we are leaders. So never forget, success isn't an event. It is a process that includes failure. Leaders are quick to offer other praise, others praise, and are self-reflective in defeat. They aren't looking over their shoulders, celebrating yesterday's achievements. They are looking ahead, anticipating tomorrow's challenges. Leaders don't cower in the face of adversity. They work hard. These are some of the lessons I learned in Ranger School. They have served me well. I hope that you found them useful yourselves. Stay motivated, work together, and learn from your successes and failures. Once again, congratulations, and thank you for your service to the city of Shreveport.